Okie dokie. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's time for my pseudo cast, and this time around, um, this is that, uh, excuse me. This weird, this is, uh, Kuroto Kagi, uh, Call to the Deep. Um, this was actually, uh, this is actually, uh, some music here that I actually wanted to, been wanting to play for a while, but I totally forgot about this. I think, um, I listened to a little bit of it, like, I'd say probably about a week or two ago. And, um, I'm like, hey, that, that hey, I ought, to, I ought to do that during my next pseudo cast, but for some reason, it never panned out. So, but just now, um, I think it, um, I think this came up again in my YouTube recommendation, so I decided to go with this. Anyway, um, well, to start with, uh, once again, it happened. My, uh, they, my internet comp, my internet company, uh, Charter, decided to do some more planned maintenance, uh, and shut off my internet twi twice in a row, uh, yesterday and today. Um, but I guess luckily, this time around, it only, it, uh, quote unquote, only lasted an hour, which is how it's supposed, it's normally supposed to go. You know, so it's supposed to last like an hour or two and not four hours. So, you know, and, um, you know, if I, if it, if it sounds like I'm making a mountain out of a molehill, well, one of the big reasons why, why this kind of, this kind of thing really ticks me off is because I'm, because right now I'm paying anywhere between 160 to 170 bucks a month. So yeah, I would really like my, I would really like my internet to work. You know, I mean, if I was only paying like forty or fifty bucks, um, in fact, I think that's that's how much I was paying for this like twelve years ago when I first got it. I mean, if it was going out a lot, I mean, I'm only paying fifty bucks a month. It wouldn't have bothered me that much, you know. But again, here, here I am paying you know 160, 170 bucks. You know, I really would like like my internet to work considering the amount of money I'm paying for it. So it's kind of bullshitty when that when this happens. So, but otherwise, um, like I've been doing, just been been playing a lot of SimCity 2000 or yeah, SimCity 2015. Or or technically City Skylines, but um, I've just been taking I've been taking a calling it SimCity 2015. So it, um, but I mentioned this on my blog post, but I'll go ahead and mention it here. Um, I'm having major traffic issues right now. It is streets are getting streets are getting clogged up, and this time around, it's actually spread to my, to my like my to all my residential homes. So like it used to be just um, it used to be just an issue in my industrial areas because of all the trucks because of all the semis bringing, you know, bringing goods back and forth, you know, making shipments. I mean, it, that was, I mean, that was, it was, it was basically the one and only issue I had with my city, just, just in the industrial area. But now, but now it's actually spread into my damn residential areas. So, kind of like they're trying to, trying to remember what I did. Or what it did that caused all this, but, um, but I, yeah, I've, um, I've tried, um, I've tried making a bus route. I've tried uh, using buses, but you gotta micromanage them. You have to, like, set routes and all that, which is too much, like, rocket science to me. So, gave that a miss. Um, try to get a subway going, but unlike other games, or I should say, unlike other SimCity games that have subway systems, this one here, um, I think uh, you have to act. I think it was either either SimCity 2000 and or 3000 and or 4. Those ones there, the uh, under the the subway depots are just they only take up like one little tile, one little tile of space. And in those games there. 
there they had no they had no game mechanic called noise pollution meaning you can just you can place them any old place you can plop them down like right next to your houses and stuff like that but uh in this in this game here there there are these big old monster stations they they cause it cause noise pollution your citizens don't want to be around them so there's a it's more of a logistical nightmare now because I can't just play them I can play them I can't just place them right smack in the middle of the city now. At least not without uh without bulldozing buildings, but uh but no, I ain't doing that. I mean I mean I've said this in another cast too, but I don't um uh, I'm not a big fan of eminent domain. I'm not a big fan of uh displacing, you know, displacing uh well, displacing families, you know, displacing people, you know, Shattering and ruining communities, that kind of thing. So, like I said, I'm not a big fan of eminent domain. Yeah, I, it, it was um, I think it was a, uh, I think it was a term that uh, that a YouTuber do not eat mentioned. It's where um, it's where a government has a right to, has a right to kick you out of your, kick you out of your apartment or your house or whatever, and then give you compensation, which, which is basically a mere pittance. Surprise, surprise, because uh, they wanna. They want to bulldoze your house and replace it with some kind of some kind of public building. But uh, yeah, like I said, I am no fan of that. And um, I think he said it too, but uh, or he kind of showed it in, in, in all of his videos. But uh, it, people, uh, governments abuse the shit out of it. Just so you know, they'll clear. They'll clear cut uh, apartment complexes, just whole neighborhoods, just to just to put down something that's like seemingly whimsical, you know, like like a park, <clears throat> you know, just you know, lay down, you know, lay down like an acre or two of sod, and then just like build like a little like a little merry-go-round right in the middle of it, you know, you know, stuff like that. But, but it but anyway um going back to what I was originally saying um so my bad traffic is pretty much gonna have to stay the way it is because uh, again I'm not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of bulldozing buildings especially after they've been built and especially after people have already moved into them so but um and another I've said this in other casts too I really one thing I really can't stand about this game is the uh, the population milestone system, where you don't have access to all the buildings at once. You you can't access you can't access certain ones until you until you get a certain certain amount of population in your city. Because I I you know it really would have been nice if I'd have gotten the uh, gotten the uh, crematorium building, because when you have a lot of people in your city. You're also going to have a lot of dying and dead people in your city as well. You know, people die of old age or whatnot. And, um, so, which is, which was, which was my situation. And, um, just like, it, just like the problem I had with landfills, because people generate so much damn garbage that I have to build, I have to build several landfills to keep up. I got the same problem now. Um, just, my citizens just won't stop fucking dying. So, I have to keep, um, I have to keep building cemeteries in order to keep up with the demand, for lack of a better word. And, um, and you know, and I have no access to incinerators till I got my population to like 17,000. But dead people were popping up in my city long before then, though. So here I am having to make cemeteries all over the place, you know, to keep, you know, again, to keep up. You know, and, and kind of a, and kind of a, kind of a sick, twisted, cynical cynical aspect of this game is uh, when a cemetery is full, you can empty it but uh, the only place where you can empty it is in is into either A, another cemetery or B, uh, into, a, into a crematorium but again you know, I had no access to a crematorium until I had 17,000 people but before then, I was stuck I ended up having to make several cemeteries over time, you know, because they just they just kept on getting packed with dead bodies. 
But once that uh, cream, but once I got my crematorium unlocked, I started placing those like right next to the damn cemeteries and just started, you know, just started having them empty the cemeteries, you know, basically burning all the dead bodies. I mean, on one end, it's kind of funny. I mean, just, you know, the, you know, the dead guy is like a, a decorated war veteran. He's a Congressional Medal of Honor. He was buried with honors, 21 gun salute, and then sometime later, whoop, sorry, we had to dig him up and burn him. We need the space. So, on one hand, it's kind of funny, but on the other hand, it's kind of fucked up as well. That you're, there you sit, I'm sitting here having to do something like this. You know, basically, basically treating people like garbage, but again, I kind of lay the blame on the devs for, for making a game mechanic like this. And I, and I looked at, and I looked this up on the wiki. There's a, the game also has a concept called a death wave. That there's going to be these periods of time where, where a whole bunch of people are going to just, just going to start dying like, like, like huge sections of, huge sections of the city. They all just, they all just up and die. That's pretty much what happened in my city. So, oh, and I forgot to mention earlier, I'm having a can of V8 Energy. Orange pineapple flavored. <sighs> um, but but yeah, like, but like like I said, I I kind of place the blame on the devs for this. You know, maybe if they would have balanced it out better to where, to where you know. You didn't have such a, you didn't have a, such an issue with like a, with like lots of your citizens dying, until you actually, until you're actually able to make a crematorium, and then maybe uh, right around that time just have them all start dropping dead. I mean, I could have, you know, I could have understood, I could have understood that, but no, it's, it's like um, I want to say when I got my population to about ten thousand, that was when they all started dying. That was when I started having to keep building cemeteries to, you know, because they kept on filling up. So, you know, you know, but no, I think there's probably just some kind of a, some kind of arbitrary number. Oh, let's just say, uh, let's just say you get a crematorium at 17,000 people. Yeah, sure. Surely you wouldn't need to use one by then. It's like, do they actually play the games that they make? Um... Kind of the same thing. I I kind of said the same thing about uh about being able to make uh not being able to make bigger, wider roads until you get a whole bunch of people in your until you get a certain population milestone in your city. I mean, I was needing those bigger roads long before I got the damn population milestone. I mean, I was already having traffic problems long before then. You know, so it just. You know, again, maybe if they would have balanced this out better, I would, you know, it wouldn't be such an issue. But I mean, but again, but don't get me wrong though, I'm still liking this game, and actually, one of my viewers said it yesterday too. I was at, I actually did a five-hour stream yesterday. I can't recall the last time I ever did that. I think the longest I've ever been streaming up until recently was like four hours and I think I only did that one time I think it was um I think it was a pinball stream I think yeah I think it was um I think um a guy named Jake Ryan I think he gifted me a uh, Zachariah pinball so I was playing some of that as well as uh pinball fx3 and arcade but yeah I think that was that was the only other time I could think of where I streamed for like four hours the rest, all the rest of the streams is like around two hours, but again, yesterday it was like five hours. So, must really like this game. But like, I, like I've been saying though, it, it, that game's not without its drawbacks. So yeah, it, I think I was trying to say this a few minutes ago. It's like yeah, it's like I'm basically treating. I'm treating the dead like fucking garbage. You know, it's like crematoriums are like landfills for dead bodies. 
And hey, and hey, hey, thank God the crematorium's finally opened up. Now I can go ahead and I can go ahead and uh, empty out those cemeteries so I can have some more room. You know, or, or so, so I'm not having to keep, I'm not just having to keep making them over and over and over because when they keep filling up and up and up, it was, same, again, same problem I had with the landfills. People generate so damn much garbage that I'm having to sit here and build landfills that crazy to keep up. And to say nothing of the fact that, although this does make sense, this makes realistic sense that um, that each each cemetery that you build, it comes with its own group of hearses. Like it isn't like it isn't like other Sim Cities. Like I think if you like if you place um, uh, I know in a Sim City three thousand you can do this. Um, they had a they had landfill zones. You can actually zone land for landfills. And, uh, they, I mean, they pollute, so you have to keep them away from, you know, you have to keep them away from your citizens. But, um, but that was it. There was, uh, there was no, uh, garbage trucks involved. All you had to do was zone part of your, part of your city for landfill space. And that was it. You didn't have to worry about trucks, you didn't have to worry about traffic, and that's not, and I, that's another reason why I'm complaining about the traffic, because this is also another problem, too. Because it's creating some serious choke points in my streets. You know, garbage trucks can't get there and pick up, you know, people's garbage quick enough. And, you know, citizens start complaining about it. Same thing with all the dead people. That was part of the reason why I had so many, uh, so much dead people in my city. Because, because of the traffic problems. The hearses can't get down there and pick them up quick enough. And it was actually causing buildings to be abandoned, too. You know, because... You know, because, I mean... You got dead people in those in those uh, houses and whatnot. I mean, it's gonna get it's gonna get pretty sweet smell in there for a, after a while. So yeah, naturally people are, people are gonna leave. It's gonna get pretty stinky in those areas. But uh, I am um, I am considering though uh, starting over starting over with another city because that's another thing too. It's uh, it's taking longer and longer to save to save my city. And it's also causing more and more lag too, especially if I turn the game speed up to the max. And my, it, the game basically becomes unplayable. Possibly, uh, it possibly causes my stream to. Um, it also causes my stream to drop frames as well. It's causing. Um, I think there's another technical. There's a better technical word for it, but I can't remember what it is. But I'll just call it stream lag. Like my stream will actually have hiccups because of because of how big my city is. So Um and um I guess uh one more thing before I close it out. I actually um I started watching a movie called called Won't You Be My Neighbor? It's a documentary about Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Um I I watched the, I mean I watched the show when I was a little kid. Not super religiously or anything, but um, I just the only thing I really cared about was probably was probably just the theme, the main thing, you know. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, etc., etc., etc. You know, and then the um, the opening theme and the ending theme. Like um, like he comes home, takes his work shoes off, and puts his uh, puts on his slippers or something. I can't remember what it was. Can't remember what it was, but yeah, that was like the only parts of the show that I really cared about. That and then maybe like the 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 castle scene with all the puppets. The the one that goes meow meow before and after every sentence. But like I said, I don't remember much about the show. But I think it, it was an interesting documentary though. I only watched maybe like the first 10, 15 minutes of it so far. It um it was Kind of a surprise, yet not a surprise, that uh, Mr. Rogers, in real life, he's actually an ordained minister. I mean, I mean, I'll, I mean, I think I always thought he was. I thought I'll, I always thought it was just some. They just hired some actor off the street, or you know, probably some maybe like a classically trained actor that's great with kids, etc. That kind of stuff. But 
Never expected him, I mean, never expected him to be an ordained minister, though. So, yeah, that came as kind of a surprise. Kind of surprising is, uh, Bob Ross, he used to be a drill sergeant. Never expected that. That was a total surprise. So. Um, uh, but. Otherwise, um, I think that's going to do it for me. I uh, pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. So. I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And this will be my last one for the week. Um, so, because my, my work week starts up today. So you probably won't be hearing from me until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye now.